Okay guys, so I have another unboxing for you today. This one is going to be of the Game Max Gamboge. This is, I think it's pronounced Gamboge. Gamboge, it's, I don't know. It's somewhere near that. It's spelled G-A-M-B-O-G-E. Um, but, yeah, this is going, this is a uh, mid-tower kind of gaming, uh, but still kind of classy case. A bit like Corsair's cases, you know, they have the gaming-esque, but it's classy at the same time. I really like the style. Um, they're very me-esque. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, this exact case is black and orange. Now, I thought it was a bit odd because it comes with RGB fans. But I think if you do it right, especially if you get maybe a, a Gigabyte motherboard, they have the Gigabyte orange. I think that would look really, really nice and uh, maybe set the fans to orange, I think you can have a really nice system. But, um, other than that, let's get into the case. I'm going to come back when I have it open, just because it's the exact same when I take a case out of the box, and uh, this way I can do it to my own speed, not trying to keep up with the camera. <laughs> Excuse me, and here it is out of the box. You can see the orange accents here, it's really noticeable along the top here. Uh, as you can see the plastic is still on our side panel window. I'm going to leave that on until I'm doing a build in it. Uh, just because it looks better when I'm doing a build to take the plastic off. Uh, we have a Game Max logo here. So far we're running into a bit of a um, Irish flag theme with a little bit of green and the orange and the white on Game Max. But um, we have two five and a quarter inch bays which uh, would actually help, especially because I think this case would look really nice with maybe a water cooling system. So you could put a bay reservoir in there, it would look quite nice. We have ventilation on the sides here for, um, I believe, two intake fans. Uh, it doesn't go all the way up, but that's okay because there is five and a quarter inch bays here. So we don't want to be able to install fans right behind them, uh, because then we can install everything there. So the ventilation comes about halfway up the case. Um, on the side here, we can see a bit of, I believe it's ventilation, it looks like, only on the side here, as well as our mesh top for the ability to put a 240mm radiator um, and in the top. So you can fit 240 in the front, 240 in the top, and most likely you can fit a 120 in the rear, but it might be like the Draco where there's just not enough room for a custom loop radiator, but an AIO will work perfectly fine. Now if we look at the very top of the case here, you can see our front I.O. So we have a reset button, a power button which is a big clicky button, I like that. We have a fan controller and these are nice tactile buttons. We have a fan speed up, fan speed down. We have a U two USB 3, two USB 2, he a headphone and microphone jack. And then one of these I believe is a, um, a hard drive activity light. And I'm not sure what the other one is. It could be an IR receiver, it could be... A power LED, could be anything under the sun really, um, I have to get in and have a look at the cables and see where they go. Excuse me, I'm after eating dinner so I might have hiccups. Um, but other than that, there's nothing more really to the outside of the case. You can see the orange accents. Got someone knocking on the door, give me a second. Apologies for that. As I was saying, you can see the orange accents on the case. On the front, they're quite subtle and then on the side, they're a little bit more noticeable. But it's not overdone. You know, it, it stays as an accent. It doesn't stay as a main colour kind of. It's a second, very secondary colour. I quite like it. It looks very sleek, very classy. The orange is nice. Um, although personally, I wouldn't have put RGB fans in the case if you're kind of fed this orange colour. Now I'm not sure if they do it in a different colour. If they do, maybe more neutral white or grey. It would be a beautiful case. Right now I think you'd really want to stick to an orange theme build if you're building in this case. But I've seen orange builds and they can turn out absolutely gorgeous. But um, that's that. So let's move on to the more inside of the case. So Thumbscrew always has to go on the floor at some point. There we go. Now, as you can see here, we do have a, a well, a nice sized side panel window. This is acrylic that is kept on by these little metal tabs. The same as most kind of um, value cases. Some of them are kept on with screws. The tabs work perfectly fine. As you can hear, there is no rattle to the uh, side panel window whatsoever. 
put this in my pocket. And in here, we can see we have a power supply shroud, uh, also known as a basement, depending on what kind of case you're looking at. We do have a cutout here where we can see the label for a power supply, which I like personally. Um, because otherwise you could have anything in there, but you get to see what you have. Here we have an IR receiver. This would be for the fan controller and the LED controller, which is like the Draco. It comes with a small remote that you get to change through the colors. So this is the little remote you get. Um, it's a lot like the one you get with the Draco, um, but it feels a lot more quality. Um, even the, just the base construction is a little bit um, kind of higher end, and the uh, the buttons have a more tactile feel as opposed to the mushy feel you, uh, the, the Draco did. Um, although, even in saying that, it was a very nice case. Um, so far for the price, this case retails at sixty four ninety nine uh, Great British pounds, which, from what I can see right now, seems to be very good value for the money. And I'll show you how to use this later on in the video when I get into that. So if we get into here, we can see the power supply shroud as I was saying, and um, on top there is room for two 120mm fans. Now I don't see how this would work unless you have them pulling air down and the power supply is upside down, because otherwise there's just no room back here. There, the air has nowhere to go or come from. Now I see where they're coming from, because the, air, the fan here pulls air in, to travel all the way down, but I just don't think there's enough room back here to get a half decent airflow. But um, here we can see the five and a quarter inch base on the inside. And we have two SSD mounts here, along with we have these rubber grommets that aren't like any other cases. Um, at this price range, a lot of the cases at this price range, or even 20 to 30 pounds higher, come with these very hard rubber grommets that can crack if you pull them too far. These are very, very high quality. They feel very high quality. And uh, we have a decent sized CPU cutout for your backplate. It means you can access it without having to take the motherboard out. I like that. We also have a place for our, your front panel connections to go down into the basement of the case without um, having to bring them kind of back under the motherboard or around the motherboard. Again, is a nice thing to have. So if we look in here, this case uh, comes with two fans. It comes with one at the back and one at the top. Now these are ring fans. They are uh, RGB. They go through seven colors. And the seven colors are what's on this remote. So you have a uh, white, kind of a teal, turquoise, a uh, a blue, a green, a yellow, a pink on the on the controller, but it usually comes out as purple, and red. And um, so essentially, you have RGB control. Uh, you just don't get as many colors as you would with full RGB, but this will match any kind of build you're trying to do. As well as this controller, you get uh, fan speed and an on and off for the LED kind of uh, control on off fan speed, plus and minus. I quite like it. Um, but yeah, as I said before, the orange is a bit odd to me with the RGB fans. It, orange isn't a colour that goes with every colour under the sun. So um, it's a bit odd to me. It seems like it's just kind of trying to be placed in the market. But if you try hard enough, I think you'd be able to make a nice system out of it. Uh, find what goes with orange. Maybe white. White would look nice. Now, if we move on to the back. We can take off this tripod. Huh? And the side panel for the back is just a flat side panel. There are no um, stamps stamp out on the back panel like you get on some other cases at this price point. But you get about, I believe it is two-ish centimeters for, um, for cable management. Yeah, just about two, two and a half maybe centimeters of cable management room, which is very, very good. I, I like doing cable management. I like making things look clean. So, uh, this is quite nice for me. Now, if we look at the back here, we have our fan controller for all of our kind of Game Max branded RGB fans, but we also have 
a six fan PWM three pin fan uh, fan controller. Um, so you can install fans of that are from any kind of um, any brand really, as long as they're three pin or they're made from Game Max or have the same kind of input that uh, this fan controller has. Uh, I would imagine this would, could be for the, fun, the ones you can't really see. Uh, so they give you two options, which I quite like. Um, so we have a lot of game management room. Now the screws in the front here, these do normally come in a box that comes in the top hard drive tray. But um, I took that out when I was getting the remote to show you before. So we have two 3.5 slash 2.5 inch drive uh, caddies. You can install a 2.5 inch or a 3.5 inch in this. 3.5 you just bend and slot it in. If I can find a 3.5 inch drive I will show you. Now, uh, go for a Seagate Barracuda. Now, this can just go on like so. Slide it down to where it needs to be. Make sure the holes line up, which is always odd on one of these caddies because you can't see through. You kind of just have to eyeball it first. There you go. And then you bend this out, push the hard drive down, and it snaps into place. And then from here, these can just slip in, in like so. When it comes to SSDs, if you want to install one here, take this out, never mind the cable tie, that's from the box as well. Uh, an SSD can just be screwed on uh, like so. If I can line the holes up there, that's all you do for an SSD. And it works the same with a 2.5 inch hard drive. They both just slide in and you just screw them down. So you can fit two and a half inch, three and a half inch uh, hard drives, SSDs, as well as two spots for two SSDs. I'm not sure how how wide they are. Like I don't think you'd be able to fit. This is a one terabyte, uh, two and a half inch hard drive. I don't know. See, this wouldn't fit in the SSD slots, but these vibrate, so you wouldn't want it hard mounted to the back wall of the case. But um. If we look in here, throw all these cables there for now. If we look in here, this is where our power supply goes. Now, you won't be able to fit a modular like 1000 watt power supply, but then again, if you're building a system like that, you probably won't be going for a case at this price range anyway. But you will be able to fit, you know, your average 750, 600, 500, 400, and therefore in modular or non modular, semi modular, all that, as long as they don't go over a standard ATX size. In fact, I have kind of average sized ATX power supply here. I have an EVGA uh, 650 or 600 watt. Um, it is a 80 plus bronze, I believe. This is for a client build that is not going into this case, but um, it's going into another one altogether. Here is our power supply. I know I probably didn't need to show this, but um, it's better to give a direct representation of what you can fit in here. So it will fit in perfectly, there's plenty of room, especially if your power supply is modular. You need that extra room to install your cables. But another thing about this case, if I take this out, I'll just leave it like that there. Uh, you have these very kind of fat and dense foam pads to kind of keep vibrations away from. Uh, directing themselves right into the case so that will get rid of half to three quarters of the vibration that can possibly come from the power supply it's very nice, I, I like that, I like to have that uh, that option some cases they are very small little like standoffs kind of where the power supply sits on it and uh, they don't do much, I like foam padding it works out better all around really 
but that's really everything back here it's very bland back here and there's nothing really to see there's no real SSD mounts or anything back here other than your fan controller and your hard drives where your power supply goes that's about it but um, I guess I can turn the case around and talk about the kind of hardware we can throw in it so when it comes to the inside of the case Installing SSDs is relatively straightforward. You can take the um, you can take these mounts out, which is just by taking the screw off. And then you take your caddy. The SSD you can just go on like so, line up your holes and screw it in. Now the only thing I don't like about this is SSDs tend to come with, lo with logos now. It shows the back side of your SSD, not the side with your logo or whatever is on it. And then what you do to put it back is you just slot these in, like so. Click it back into place, and screw your screw the screw back in, preferably without knocking over your screwdriver. Easy enough, pretty straightforward, but um, you can you can throw an SSD in there, especially because they, they have no moving parts, so you can really just leave them so lying on the end on the bottom of your case if you really wanted to. So God knows how many SSDs you could really have in this case. Um, actually, that would probably be a good point to show off the front panel connections. So you have your power reset button, power LED, hard drive LED. And then you have, I'm not sure I can show this, around the front maybe. You have a Molex for the power for the 3-pin uh, fan controller, power for the RGB fan controller, HD audio and USB 2, if I can get to the HD audio. And then you have USB 3.0 or 3.1. I'm not entirely sure about that, I would imagine it's 3.0. And then the two leads for your fans in here are also going straight to your fan, fan controller here. But um, that's really it when it comes to the case itself. Now this case supports a full ATX um, motherboard. You can go pretty wide with it. You can support up to about, a, I'd say, 800 watt power supply before you start getting into the longer sizes. Um, you can install, uh, I would say, two graphics cards, possibly three depending on the layout of your no, I think only I think full ATX only goes up to two, so you can do SLI or Crossfire. So two graphics cards, it's pretty decent for it. Um, you can install ra two radiators, two to uh, two forty mil radiators. That also means water cooling support, so you could do a water cooled SLI system. Because this here, this gap here with all this ventilation, should leave just about enough room for your uh, water block headers on the graphics cards to come out, so you'd have enough room there. Um, so I think if you had maybe, um, I'm looking into getting maybe a, a Gigabyte, I forget the exact model, but it's one of the ones that are orange and black, the X99 boards, because I have a crosser lying around that I can use for that and make it into an editing rig. Um, I don't have the money to do it, nor will I ever really, but it's a man can dream. Uh, I think if I was doing that I would probably want to water cool it because why not? and you can buy Mayhem's orange dye and I think in this case it would look very very nice orange and white. So I have this power supply hooked up and the fans are on very very silent because it's on low um, a low fan speed right now here's the cap come to bug us and now if we can turn our fans on make sure they're bright enough or I can turn the brightness down if I don't like it all the way down to barely lit at all now, should we take this off? And then if we bring it back up. And we can go from it's on white right now, go to red. The red looks quite nice with the orange actually, so oddly. Normally it, we wouldn't say so. We can go for green. Green coming on the Ireland flag. Now if we go from green we can go to blue. The blue and orange it looks alright, wouldn't be my taste now. And go to yellow. Again, the yellow is a bit greeny, wouldn't be my favourite. 
we can go to the purple like I said it's pink on the controller but it's always going to be purple in the case um, but that purple will look kind of nice with the orange and then we can go to kind of a teal colour more of just a light blue that's oddly kind of nice and then the white but there are also um, different uh, presets I should say so there's auto one which if you press that I don't know if it's done anything yet oh there we go that's quickly speed through all the colors there's auto two which I don't know if that has done anything oh this is breathing through every single color auto three it's a breathing with a slightly different effect and then there's auto 4 this is um, blending between the colors and then auto 5 which is again just quickly going through then you can have every single color as well just breathing And if you're sick of the lights, you can just, if it wants to work, there we go, turn the lights off and then you have an incredibly quiet case that's just orange and black. Turn the fan speed up if you're gaming. Yeah, one design flaw I've seen, the IR blaster isn't on a long enough tether that you can face it in the bottom of the case so you can just use the remote down like so you have to kind of face it in the window and it doesn't work through the plexiglass all the time or acrylic depending on where you're from I believe that might have been it just doesn't seem to want to work this time so here is the IR blaster here you can see it down by just on top of the uh, power supply trim so when you build your system in this case you just have it sticking out from underneath or beside the uh, purse plate or maybe have it sticking up just from here just um you don't have to use it through the uh, acrylic but i mean it's acrylic so ir infrared light can just go straight through but um other than that there isn't really anything else to say about this case i mean it's good for the price it looks very very sleek and very classy but still looks like a gaming case uh rgb which is always a plus um, although in this case slightly odd but I think you can make it work um, plenty of kind of water cooling support uh, I think you have enough room in this to build any kind of system you want um, which is always a good thing about a case because sometimes you're kind of stuck for room and it's never good but I think this is a very nice case for £65, which is about €70-75, Euro, uh, which I would happily pay for a case of this calibre. But really, that's it for this case. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.